you do choose, sir, to sign on with the Condon Line, you will be offered six and two-thirds dollars for every month of your service. You will also be housed in a very spacious tent, seven by seven A-frame, just like this. You will be offered your own kit, you will be offered rations of food, and you will be training here every single day for your stay at the time. How does that sound, sir? That sounds very kind of boring. Is there anything else? Or you bet there is! Good day. Good day. Let me ask you a question. Yes. Do you yearn for adventure? Yes. Have you wanted to see far off exotic places and meet far off exotic people? Yes. Well, I have good news. We're looking for people just like you to join the Continental Marines. Wonderful. What is a Marine? I never heard of those guys. Well, they're pretty new. Uh, originally, the Continental Marines were supposed to be formed from units from the Continental Army. Now they're being recruited on a, on a standalone basis, and originally they're meant to be uh, complements of Marines on board ship. So in a sense, they're land troops that are serving on board ship in the uh, Continental Navy. Interesting. Uh, that sounds kind of new. How long have they been around, and how did that come about? Well. Uh, even the ancient Romans used marines of some kind uh, for amphibious landings or, again, service aboard ship. Uh, the Continental Marines are a pretty new outfit for America. Uh, not only has the Continental Army been formed and the Continental Navy, but the Continental Marines as a, as a standalone unit. I don't know. Where are the Marines now? Where, are, where would I be going? You might be going anywhere. Uh, the Continental Marines are on board ship, both uh, off the coast here in America and even uh, going after the King's troops off the coast of England. Uh, they've been asked to uh, conduct amphibious landings in the Caribbean, places like New Providence and the Bahamas. Uh, they've been sent to the back country, navigating the Ohio and Mississippi rivers. They've fought alongside the Continental Army on foot. The Marines have been everywhere during this conflict, both here and over in the, in the other hemisphere. I see the uniform you have on. Will I be wearing something like that, or do I have to wear something like that other ugly coat the fellow's wearing? No, no, the Continental Congress has uh, approved a specific uniform just for the Continental Marines. In fact, the main color will be green. The coat's usually green with either white or red facings, uh, either plain buttons, or sometimes the buttons have an anchor on them, and you'd have predominantly white small clothes, a white waistcoat, white gaiters, uh, and then uh, black garters, black spatter dashes, but the coat itself will be usually green faced with white or faced with red. There, that's more like it. Tell me, uh, have you made a decision yet? Not really. I'm afraid I'm still on the fence about this whole Marines. Um, you're going to have to impress me and impress me greatly, and that's not an easy task. Well, as you know, Britannia rules the waves, as they say. We're looking for opportunities to strike back against the British Navy. You may even have the opportunity to serve on board ship under the command of John Paul Jones. John Paul Jones? Indeed. And if serving under John Paul Jones were not enough, if you join the army, You'll get paid your six and two-thirds Spanish dollars, but if you join the Continental Marines, you may have the opportunity to make even more. You see, Marines may be entitled to a percentage of the spoils from any ships that you capture. Hmm. How does that sound? I think you've convinced me. I would like to join up. Oh, one more thing. Yes. Remember November 10th. It's a big day for the Marines. What happens on November 10th? 